Hi, this is Virgo the Oracle, and I'm here to do a twin flame reading uh, for you all. Divine masculines and divine feminine unions. Um, if you guys are in a same-sex re relationship, however you identify, you know, just suggest accordingly. And we're going to start with the Page of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Nine of Coins, Temperance, Eight of Wands, the Tower, the Strength card, the Empress, Five of Cups, and Ten of Wands. Now, right away, guys, what I see here is that the Divine Feminine, she's really tired of waiting for this Divine Masculine to make up his mind and decide what he want to be. She's been waiting for him for a very long time. And what he does is he calls her, he'll go visit, give her a hope for a little while, and then he'll disappear. It's a lot of in and out, in and out, in and out. He may text her, he may give her a call just to keep her hanging on a string line, you know, that type of thing. And she's getting really tired of that. But here's the thing, he's tired too. He's opened up, he's ready to open up to love. He's This is the Page of Cups. He might have been acting like that little young boy, that little young boy, not sure what he want, but he wants you. He wants you, he's getting his crap together right now. He loves you, he fell in love, he don't know how that happened. He has a lot of compassion for you. He thinks about you all the time. Some of you have never physically been together. Just a lot of flirting, a lot of flirting, little texting, calling. You know, whenever you see each other, your stomach jump. And he acts really strange when he sees you. And so do you. You can feel it. Y'all can feel the energy. It's like some type of crazy electron, le electricity that's between you all. And you have the Ace of Cups here. So this tells me that this is a divine union. There's a blessing pouring all over this union. There's a blessing pouring all over, the, all over this union. This is truly meant to be. It's nothing that you guys can do. You can't go to somebody else and he can't stay with her. It ain't going to happen. It won't work. It will always be interference because you guys are meant to be. You made this, you made this, uh, this um, decision before y'all were even incarnated. This is, this is divine order. This was written in the books before y'all even came here to do, this, to, to do this lesson here on this earth. This is divine union. It's going to happen whether y'all want it to or not. Divine order. The reason why you're so impatient, Divine Feminine, because it's near. It's coming near. Because you wasn't this impatient before. It didn't bother you. saw him when you saw him. But now it's like, good God, I just got to have him. Because it's getting near. It's time. You, you, you two will be together real soon. And next we have the Nine of Coins. Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. And what this is telling me is he's so afraid of losing you. He's afraid of losing you. He think you're going to get tired and be like, you know what? I'm so fed up. I'm out. The hell with this. I'm out. He fears that he's going to lose you. He fears that you waited long enough. He know you fine. He know you look good. He suspect that other guys is all over you and, and, and you, you're, you're letting them be. But he don't know how you don't play that. If they don't have your heart, they don't have you. Then we have the temperance here. Now, what the temperance is telling me, he's coming back. He'll be back. And he's coming back correct. He's trying to figure out how. This is the reconciliation card. You see what I mean? He needs balance in his life. He doesn't have it with the karmic. He needs balance. He's a guy that needs balance. He must be a Libra. Because let me tell you, he got too much to lose. He has a lot. You know, he has his business, he has a good job, and that karmic, she can cause so much havoc for him. So he's trying to, to bow out gracefully so that he can come to you correctly. Now, right here we have, uh, the what is this, the Eight of Wands, flying in. He's flying in. You ain't going to be able to stop him. This is fast movement. This is fast movement right away coming in. He's finally getting the strength to say, I got to get out of here. Well, he's been saying that. He finally got the strength to say, I'm getting the hell out of here. And I'm going to my woman before I lose her. He thinks about you all the time. He watches you. He drives past your house. He talks to people that know you and indirectly acts about you. Oh, yes, honey, yes. He's coming. He's coming up with a plan to end that toxic relationship, that toxic connection with that karmic. 
There it is right there in the tower. This is an upheaval. He's not happy where he's at. He's miserable as hell. He just rolling with the punches. Walking around miserable. Snapping on people. Unhappy. It's affecting his look. He don't even look the same. He's probably losing weight. And he don't like that. Because you know he likes to look good. And he likes to feel good. But he's getting strength with this strength card. He's getting strong. He's getting strong. Yes. He getting strong, honey. Because you're the strong one. See, in, the, in, in a twin flame relationship, the divine feminine is the one who's spiritually, who spiritually works on herself first. The spirit is working on him now. That's why he's suddenly getting so much strength. Because the spirit has been working on him, pulling him by his ankles to bring him where he's supposed to be. Because the spirit don't want him unhappy. He's a good guy. But see, the spirit been put, put the divine protection over you. That's why whatever that karmic try to throw, whatever she try to interfere, whatever she try to do, it'll never touch you. It might, it, not, it would never touch him either. It might delay it, but it ain't going to stop it because it's a divine order. And no one goes against God. No one. Then we have the Empress. The Empress. That beautiful lady right there. This is his new opportunity with you. This is his new love, his happiness. This is that beautiful woman that walks in the room and everything stops. All the women want to be her and all the men want to be with her. Everything she touched turned to gold. She's a lady in every sense of the word. She keeps her hair done. She dressed to the nine. She drives a nice car. She takes beautiful care, care of, of her children if she has them. This is that bad girl. That's that bad bitch right there. She's awesome. She's the one that they all want. I think that's a lot of the interference too, guys. I think... When people see saw y'all together, when the connection first started, they was like, oh, hell no, we got to stop this. Because everybody, want, all the women wanted him and all the guys wanted you. And that's the last thing they wanted for you two to get together. I, I, it's always like that when it's a divine union. The haters got to try to throw their little hate in it. But it ain't going to work. Don't worry about that. They can't touch this. They may have delayed it, but they didn't delay nothing because it's, everything is in divine time. Everything is in divine time. Everything is in divine order. There's a time and a place for this to begin. And it's, it's, and it's about to start. That's why you're getting so impatient, Divine Feminine. That's why you're getting so impatient. Before it didn't bother you when his ass would come in and go, come in and go, call sometime. But now you're getting agitated like, what's going on? What are we going to do? Are we going to be in a relationship or not? Because I'm not going to keep sitting here waiting for you. Then we have the Five of Cups. Baby, with that Five of Cups... This is shame. This is regret. This is like his river of tears. He's crying all the time. You know, he's sad when he by himself. Because he ain't never going to show it in front of nobody. He got too much pride for that. But he's crying. His heart is crying. You know, he's sad. He's wondering what you're doing. He's wondering, did you forget about him? Do you still think about him? This is the mess after the chaos. This is how he's feeling. You see his three cups down? His head is down. He doesn't see the two cups behind him. That's you saying, come on home. I got this. Because you're medicine to him. You're going to make him feel better. He makes you feel better. And then we have the ten of wands. The ten of wands is, I'm on my way. Here I come. He's going to return it to you. As fast as he can. He has to get something off his chest. He has to confess to you how much he loves and wants you. He has to confess to you how he screwed up by standing with this karmic knowing he didn't love her. He never really loved her. They was together for convenience. It was some kind of convenience business deal or, you know, maybe they had a baby together. He was trying to do the right thing. You know, it just never was real love. He didn't find that real love until he met you. That's what blew his mind. That's what, that, that's what made him say, good God, how do I love this woman? I ain't never really, really even been with her. But he does, and he's coming back to let you know that. This has been a very good read. I hope you enjoyed. If you like my reading, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, please do. This was a good read. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.